can tell by the title of the video, uh, we're going to be going over the BARD class. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, what are my qualifications? Well, I don't really have any. Um, one of my followers even called me a Timmy, shout out Justin, saying that I didn't know how to play the game, using my second win wrong, and hitting the wrong boxes. So I may not be the best person, but a lot of my experience is actually going to come from Dungeons & Dragons, which I've played a lot with my family, doing quests during different holiday seasons. Uh, now, even my name, Tor Borgen, comes from one of my family quests in D&D. &D. Um, I'm a half-elf ranger, later earning the tag Elf of the People. I can spend hours going over my adventures and talk about Tor Borgen, but we're here for one thing, and that's dark and darker content -y. Uh But all in all, uh, we don't have to wait that long, because the next Steam Next Fest in 2023, coming out February 6th through the 13th, we will get our next playtest. Now, I don't know if we are going to see the new Bard class in this playtest, but I'm going to go over and take my experience from Dungeons & Dragons, a little bit of information that I've gotten from my DM, and pull together and see what we can get and see what we might expect from the Bard class when it comes in here. Now, from D&D, &D, this class is a heavy role-playing class, right? It, they are a support role using music, singing songs, inspiring their whole party, right? Basically, kind of like Kanye West. No, just kidding. But... Um, this class has many different subclasses. Right now, we are going to focus on just the basics, right? Obviously, the historian part, um, a lot of like the charisma part, we're not going to see as much as you would in Dungeons & Dragons, but I think a lot will still come out in this character. Now, like most casting um, characters, casting support characters, these musical chads will be equipped with light armor. Now, from what I can gather, these two, uh, this class is actually going to be very similar to a ranger's class, right? Minus the bows, you're going to be able to use daggers, short swords, long swords, crossbows, and even rapiers. With a huge focus on like range and finesse weapons, you'll really want to increase that dexterity or find a way through different, you know, equipment. Um, let's see here. Now, let's not forget about the instruments that they use to sing those songs and cast their different spells. Most commonly, a lute. Um, some of these, um, sometimes the, the bard is actually called a jack of all trades because they are literally able to use just about anything at their disposal, really only limited by the fact that they can't use shields. Um, now, when it comes to it, the, the bard is going to have a list of different spells at their disposal, whether it's combat magic, heals, buffs, debuffs. Right, the bard is mainly a spell caster, but don't think that you're limited to that. There is a lot of different ways where you can actually build a melee combat, a healing, more support, or more of a battle magic. It's whatever you want. That's what I really love about this class. Um, this class is going to be the most diverse bard none. <laughs> okay, kind of lame joke, but uh, what I think is going to happen with this class is there is going to be a large skill gap. The reason for that is there's going to be many different ways to play it. There is going to probably be a meta. Someone's going to find it. And so you're either going to be clapping cheeks with this or you're going to get your cheeks clapped. Um, you really get to decide how you have that happen. But uh, I don't think there's really going to be too much play. I think it is going to be a harder class to play. But if you get it down, you're not only going to be able to carry yourself, but a team as well. Uh, that's why I think that the bard is going to fit in any size party uh, in any role that you really need it to play as long as you're as diverse as the character itself is. Now, uh, now I don't think we're going to get all the instruments uh, that we would you know, normally see in a Dungeons & Dragons because that would take a lot of the loot pool away from all the classes for just one character to be able to use. Uh, what I think would be really cool to see is if they'd have the ability to use like spell books. That way it just opens up a different way of leveling and not really just, you know, forcing you to one casting style. Um, and I think they'll probably do that just because of how diverse the character is and how limited this game style makes it. I think they'll open it up that way. Um, now, when it comes to, you know, skills and abilities, the bards use a lot of dexterity, like I said, with those Finesse, finesse and range weapons. Oh, I can't talk today. Finesse and range weapons. Um, 
And then also depending on different, you know, support spells that you're doing, you might want to do wisdom, you might want to do intelligence, but the main, absolute main um, thing that you're going to be leveling is charisma. Now, uh, in Dungeons and Dragons, you can basically use this to talk your way out of basically anything or talk your way into basically any great deal that you want. Um, as much as I would love it, I don't think that we're going to see this be able to play in a in as much of a PvP facet. I think we might still be resorting to the um, the crouch spamming, right, to get uh, friendship and kind of go through the dungeon together. But who knows? We might see something out of that. What I would really love to see, though, is as a bard, if you could get a discount with the traders, right? Because um, with the charisma, right, you talk your way into a better deal. And it would also be cool if you were a trader yourself, you could bypass that 15 gold whatever trader fee, right? And because you're a bar class, which would open it up. Yeah, I would see them kind of scaling down and probably making you a little bit weaker. So then it's not just everyone being bar. This is going to be a, a top tier class. Um, one thing, you know, we, we see campfires right as you place them down right you put a campfire down we all get around the heel i think it'd be really cool as if in the bard class instead of it having to have like a campfire you actually pull out your loot and start playing a song and everyone sits around the fire pit either giving the same heels or maybe added heels to a campfire because you're playing that music i think would be really cool so uh, that would be cool to see now what i have here I, there is hundreds of different abilities and as we kind of go in there you'll kind of realize why i couldn't go over all of them but i did grab a list of a couple that i think would be really cool to see or at least what i thought would be cool to see if you think of any other ones please let me know put them down comment i don't care let me know uh, but these are the ones that i kind of gathered um, from a list here now uh, first one here is minor illusion uh, what that is is like you can really like make like noises kind of set things off um, it's to take off aggro usually and to mess with people now it would be kind of cool to see it in a facet where you could use it in a way to mess with another team and make it sound like you were opening up a door or something like that or it would be cool in a pve sense to just you know get different um you know mobs off of you uh giving you more of a chance uh, the next one which is really fun in dungeons and dragons is vicious mockery in dungeons and dragons you basically make fun of someone so much that you can actually do a little bit of damage now it's a very weak spell when it comes to hit points you can get the killing blow in dungeons and dragons so it'd be kind of cool to see it in this but what it does is it usually weakens foes makes them you know feel bad about themselves but it does give you aggro so people are going to be mad at you because you know you're throwing that shade and uh, honestly hate is going to hate but they're going to also get hit uh, now uh, next one this will go into more of the support class is healing word it's usually a faster heal a little bit weaker very common a lot of bards and dungeons and dragons will just take that because it's nice to just have a heal even if you're not the primary healer it is just nice to have a heal um, now uh, next up we have enhanced abilities it can make you and your party stronger smarter basically enhancing any ability so if you have a couple you know strong barbarian boys with you you do a strength boost or if you have you know some wizards with you right you do intelligence wisdom stuff like that so it's a versatile one it isn't just set on one buff it, it's going to be interesting to see what they do with that on this game um, another one too that i think would be really fun to see is bestow curse what that is is i mean basically exactly what it sounds like it's a curse it's a debuff weakening people i can really see this being used on pvp and pve um you know being able to weaken a person whether it's you know a random team coming at you or you know a wraith or what have you right um now the next one is enemies abound this one would be really cool um, if they could get it to work in PvP, but I don't see it happening. Like they would have to like take over dominion of people's controllers um, and how they're moving, and a lot of people don't like that. Uh, but when it comes to CC, this really makes people fight each other. It's really cool. Uh, I I was playing with a in an adventure with a board before, and he actually made uh, the biggest, strongest 
you know monster that we had at the time i forgot the name of it fight a lot of the other ones that we had around so it saved us a lot of time so really cool in dungeons and dragons would be really sick to see a wraith fuck up some skelly bros for me now or mess up oops i did the swear we'll cut that out um now um next up that i thought would be really useful in here is dimensional door uh, in that it's used to sneak up behind people you can teleport to like other sides of the wall stuff like that um, what it would be cool to use is basically a bard being able to carry their own teleport to the next floor um, i think that would be the easiest way to make this ability work here because um, i don't see you i mean maybe you could spawn to a, a random part of the map or something like that uh, but i think it would be really cool to see like being able to either um, spawn to the next level or get out of the dungeon completely as like what is that pokemon like run or escape move right um and then we have greater restoration i mean that's basically self-explanatory you heal people but it's a lot more um then you get monster hold person hold so that'd be cool to see where you can kind of switch between right if you want to focus on more of a pve battle you could do monster hold where you're stopping these creatures or pvp you're looking to mess other people up right you go in there you do the person hold uh, another one is sleep i would see that one being very useful for a lot of mobs kind of taking the bigger one off of you like a the troglodyte that comes out you or just trog whatever he goes by but i call him troglodyte um <clears throat> let's see here some of the combat ones that you'll see thunder wave where imagine like you have a guitar and you just Bring, ring, 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 right? Ring. That a giant shock wave from your your loot because you played it so hard. Imagine that. So that'd be kind of cool to see you like strum and then have a shock wave go out to do damage. Uh, Synap static, which is basically like a f psychic fireball. Fireball. Um, fireball. Fireball but um, basically a psychic fireball not super strong but a lot of bards do take it um fairy fire which doesn't sound like what you think it is what it does is it helps you find different magical items or see invisible people that would be really cool if you could turn it on and it lasted like 10 15 minutes and you could see like invisible um assassins right whenever people are an invisible or they've taken the pot you could actually still see them so that would be really cool and useful in here um, they are capable of doing invisibility themselves that is one of their illusion magics um, and then we also have polymorph which would be really cool to see if like you could turn into different um, npcs that way tricking people kind of getting the jump on them uh, not knowing that that trog inside of that room is actually you waiting to get the slice, get at the booty cheeks or something. But that'd be really cool to see. Uh, but one thing that is really great, I want you guys to really keep your minds open about this, is that the bard in D&D has something called magical secrets. And what's cool about magical secrets is that they actually have the ability to pull abilities from different classes. So if there's an ability you like as a fighter or a bard or a ranger, you can actually pull those at certain levels. Now, I'd love to see that where you could actually pull different abilities from different classes and maybe just to select few, but it'd be a really good way to just round this character out of being kind of the end all be all of, you know, diverse characters where, you know, oh, someone's playing a bard. You don't want to do two bards. Well, I'll go our barbarian and I'll go barb and I can do a little strength build. Will it be as great? No, but it'd still be fun. I think it's going to be a very fun class, especially for solo players, where they get to kind of make their own choices. Now, this list is very small. I, I barely scratched the surface. Uh, feel free to look. There's plenty of good sites. Just Google Dungeons and Dragons classes. You'll probably find out more information than I ever knew. Um, now, <clears throat> As the game was uh, last played on the last play test, my favorite class was the cleric. Uh, I like keeping my team alive, supporting them until we got out. Uh, you know, and you could still fight, block. I have a feeling that the bar class is actually going to be really close to a mix of like a cleric and a ranger, right? Where you get like the healing factor, supporting factor with some of the finesse weapons. You won't be able to block like the ranger, but 
you'll be able to heal like the the cleric so i'll be really excited to see what they do with it um, please let me know down below what class you're excited to see next uh, feel free to look in dungeons and dragons i can't imagine i i don't know how many different classes there are but i know that there's a lot so let me know um, and then also i mainly do like live streaming random games game reviews um, this isn't normally what i do but I, I love dark and darker so i wanted to make some content here but um, feel free to let me know if you want more of this i will definitely